Positively San Diego with Jim Patton. Well, not far from Julian, an effort is underway to save a species of wolf that once thrived in the southwestern United States. I took a trip to this Positively San Diego Reserve dedicated to bringing back an apex predator that was nearly wiped out. They are very important to the environment and it is our human duty to bring them back from the brink. The Mexican gray wolf once numbered in the thousands throughout the American Southwest and Mexico. But during much of the 20th century, environmentalists say governments in both countries trapped and poisoned the wolves to near extinction to protect cattle. They are still struggling. We're still having uh, to be able to reintroduce them. Sierra McIsaac is the wolf care coordinator at the 45-acre California Wolf Center near Julian. We joined her and a board member for a look at this nonprofit, which is part of a network of conservation efforts in the U.S. and Mexico. What's it like working with these animals? I love working with them. You get to learn a bunch of different personalities. They play a lot and they're really dorky. They're very family oriented animals. Uh, so it is an incredible job. And critical, these animals are descendant from a very few survivors. With Mexican gray wolves, their gene pool is very, very shallow. They were uh, only 13 left and actually only seven founding Mexican gray wolves uh, in the 70s. From those seven, there are now an estimated 186 Mexican grays in the wild, with another 350 spread out among various zoos and breeding programs. We have 34 wolves on site. We have four North American gray wolves and we have 30 Mexican gray wolves. Most of the animals here are kept out of sight from people. We want to make sure a that they're ready for the wild uh, and b that they are pretty terrified of people so we do not socialize with our wolves. While the wolves are owned by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service the agency does not provide funding so conservation efforts rely largely on donations. A few ambassadors are availed for paid tours and can be enticed with a special treat. So these are frozen mice uh, with Mexican gray wolves. We do have to treat them differently than uh, most other wolves because they are a recovery species. The animals are kept on a wild game diet so they don't get a taste for livestock. Sometimes local hunters will donate a deer that they've taken or a road mishap can be dinner. And they very much enjoy roadkill deer. The goal is to return the Mexican gray to the wild, where it can resume its place as a keystone species in a healthy ecosystem. To help nudge that along, some of the pups bred in captivity are skillfully snuck into the litters of wild packs, where they are unwittingly adopted. They do a lot of scent marking to make sure that those puppies smell just like the wild puppies so that mom really has no idea that she has no new puppies. And despite cultural fears stoked by folklore like the big bad wolf, McIsaac says wolves are typically not on the hunt for people. They hear you, smell you, and see you way before you see them. Uh, so we get asked all the time, what do I do if I see a wolf in the wild? Uh, I say go buy a lottery ticket because you're very lucky. And we're lucky to be able to see them here at the California Wolf Center near Julian. Jim Patton, ABC 10 News. Now, if you are interested in seeing the wolves for yourself and helping to restore their place in the wild, you can learn more from the California Wolf Center at CaliforniaWolfCenter.org. And we have put a link to that on our website, 10 newscom And if you have a story that is positively San Diego, we'd like to hear from you. Go ahead and send us an email and tell us about it.